What are my chances of falling pregnant each month I try? Welcome to Fertile Minds. Uh, my name is Dr. Shari Kashaba, and today we're going to talk about chances of falling pregnant uh, when you try naturally. One question I get asked by all couples, basically. When we try to fall pregnant, what are the odds of falling pregnant or succeeding uh, in that month we try? And it's basically one in six. That's the magical number. It's a roll of the dice. So each month you try, it's a roll of the dice. And it's advice. I mean, couple, when they try to fall pregnant, we say, if we got 10 couple, and they say, let's make this year our year. Mm -hmm. By the end of that year, no one can actually roll the dice for 12 months. But if they tried it nine or 10 times in that year, we know roughly seven out of 10 will fall pregnant. And the three couple that didn't fall pregnant, if they keep rolling the dice and trying for the second year, one out of three will fall pregnant. But that odd of the rolling the dice in the first year become less as time passed by. Because there might be something delaying pregnancy from happening. And that's why we say, well, if you got no concerns, you're below 35, give it 12 months. If you're above 35, it's only six months of trying, then see your GP or fertility specialist just to make sure everything is fine. Because time becomes of the essence. Now, what could delay pregnancy from happening? And we've got heaps of tests that we could do, but they all boil down to three basic things. And what are they? Well, the sperm, and the sperm, they need to be good looking, they need to be good swimmers, and lots of them. So you need a lot of good looking swimmers. Second thing, you need to be ovulating. Having regular period tells us more or less 95% that you're ovulating, but it's not 100%. We could track your cycle just to make sure that you're ovulating. And the third thing is the pathway for the sperm to reach the egg is clear, and there's not any blockage or obstruction along the way. So when you go for fertility, we say time is of the essence when you're above 35. Because the major factor that contributes to the success each month they try is the age of the eggs. The younger is the better. So above 35 is still, it's not all like, uh, it starts to drop dramatically at that point. But time becomes of the essence, six months to a year makes a difference. So don't leave it for two, three years and then look at it because 35 is not like 38 or 39. So basically when we go to see your GP or fertility specialist, what do we do at the first visit? First of all, we get to know you better and discuss with you your medical background, what you've been doing, what are your health like, any surgeries you've done, any medical conditions. For both of you, it takes two to tango. Now, after getting to know you better, we discuss with you what are your family plans are and how do you envision your family, time, size, and intervals between them. Then we discuss, well, the next step, what tests that we can be doing, can be done. And basically the tests are divided into a few categories. We do blood tests, we do urine tests, we do ultrasound, and we check the sperm. The blood tests compromise few uh, components. So we do check your hormones and make sure hormones from the brain, from the thyroid and the ovaries are all communicating each other and it's a clockwork. We do check infection screen for your health like hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, chlamydia, gonorrhea and syphilis. We do also check for your nutritional status. So make sure that you have enough vitamin D in your blood, the folic acid, and make sure your hemoglobin is okay and the iron stores are good. So you're not an American. We check your blood group and the type of hemoglobin you've got. It's one extra test that is called the AMH. And the AMH tells us how many eggs left in the ovary. We supplement that with uh, an ultrasound just to make sure that the uterus and the ovaries are perfectly in the right position and they're working at each month. And there's no any problems that could hinder pregnancy from happening. We'd run the same a test for the male partner. Uh, we do a blood test, they check for hormones from the brain and the testes, make sure that there's no any infection and nutritionally fit and healthy. On top of that, we do a sperm test to make sure it's got good looking swimmer or enough good looking swimmers. And these are the initial tests. Usually it takes around two to three weeks. And after that first visit, we sit again and go through them and plan how we can help you start a family. My name is Dr. Shari Kashaba. Thank you again for watching Fertile Minds. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to keep to be updated with the latest about fertility treatments.